What's up, everybody? Um, we are back with a uh, midweek dish. Um, I made the Mexican beef, the barbacoa, and my boy Charlie Gennetti was like, I don't like Mexican food. So I told him I'd be doing an Italian dish for uh, for him. So I'm going to do some eggplant rollatini. So I got some fresh eggplant. Um, that'll be our base. And I got some red sauce going here. So this one's uh, pretty quick. Not too many ingredients. So to start, what you need, I got like two small eggplants, and then for the mix, for the filling, you need Pecorino Romano grated cheese, you need shredded mozz, you need ricotta, uh, about a half cup of the grated and the shredded cheese, and maybe 12 ounces of the uh, ricotta, some uh, chopped parsley, one egg, and uh, salt and pepper. That's about it. So to start, I'm going to slice the eggplant and uh, soften it in the oven. So get your oven to 400, straight up 400. So I got my uh, sheet lined with olive oil and just kind of spread it around on the uh, sheet because you don't want too much olive oil because you don't want to fry it. All we're doing is um, getting it soft so we can roll it up. This is really, all it is is like an eggplant roll up. So let your oven get hot. Now we're going to start cutting the eggplant. So there we go. These are a little bit more round, usually uh, more oblong, but I just cut the bottom off. And the top off. So you're left with just uh, with this, and then cut the front. So you're left with uh, with this part, and then I'm just going to start cutting it as thin as I can. So no more than uh, like a centimeter. Again, to let these get softened. And we'll later roll them up. So we'll start with this and see how many we get. So right now when you're working with eggplant, it's going to be firm, but you need to do this prep work to soften them up so you can roll them later. So got my sections now. So these go maybe three to four minutes in the oven. So you want to lay them down and just make sure that they're uh, they're not overlapping, that they're separate. So you can do this. It works as an appetizer, or if you make it with uh, a little bread, which is what I'm going to do. You know, a little roll up. This is how it looks right now. So, um, three or four minutes, keep an eye on them. And then when they're soft, we will uh, we'll roll them up. So, stay tuned. We'll be back. All right, so it's been four minutes. So, we'll leave the oven on at 400. So, what you want to do is just uh, let these cool down a bit so you can handle them. Um, so we're just going to put them in here for now. So next it's pretty simple uh, mix. Um, I got my egg to start and this is my half a cup of matz. I'm not going to use all this right now because maybe half of it, because what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put this in the oven once we roll them up uh, for about 30 minutes of 400 and then top it off with more shredded cheese as a finisher for about 
five, ten minutes or so. So um, save some of that reserve. I'm going to start putting this in, and then the ricotta is going to get not all of this, but we're going to use most of it. You can never have too much cheese. And then the parsley. shredded cheese. So we're just going to work this, mix it up, and then I'll be back in a little bit once the eggplant has cooled down and is ready to handle, and we'll uh, roll up the rollatini. Stay tuned. All right, all right, so we mixed up the, uh, the cheese, got some nice color from that parsley. So Got the oven to 400, so I got some of my gravy, of course never from the jar, so I make about a quart of it, so to start, just so the rollatinis don't stick, you want to uh, put it on the bottom of your, uh, your baking pan, just as a base for the rollatinis. So, everybody can see what I'm working with here. So, you want to get some of the mixture into uh, maybe like a, maybe that much, into the edges. And just keep it tight. And roll it up just like this. I'm just going to put them into the uh, pan and so forth. So forth. I'll show you one more, but not really rocket science. Just roll it up and keep on going. So once you're done all the rolls. Put it in the oven. Oh, also, for each one, give it a little kiss of gravy on top. So we'll be doing this for half hour, 400. Sprinkle more of this, uh, the mozz on top as a finisher, and that's it. Pretty easy. We'll be back. All right, all right, we are back, and it's been about 30 minutes. Oh, big steam there. So, you can see, these are looking pretty good. So just as a topper, I want to put a little uh, cheese on each of these, and a little more, uh, a little more gravy, too. So keep an eye on this. I uh, just want to get them a little bit browned. You can never have too much cheese. We'll put a little more here. And this time I'm going to put my bread in there to heat that up. My uh, trusty Sarcone's bread. Just get a little more sauce on the edges here. And somewhere between 5 and 10. Just keep an eye on it. Uh, give that cheese a melt. And then you'll be ready to eat. That's it. We'll be back. All right, all right. We're done. So uh, get a little parsley for garnish and, of course, some red wine. So this is one, a lot of times if you go out, this will be, uh, you'll see this as an appetizer. So it's, it's a little bit lighter, well, except for all that cheese, but uh, figured it was something good for, uh, for fall. 
to try. So, just get a couple of these on the plate. Some of the gravy. Parsley and maybe a little more for good measure. And a little, uh, little appetizer, a little lighter dinner, whatever you want to call it. Eggplant rollatini. Hope you approve, Charlie. Be good. We'll see you soon. Peace.